we have a very special performer coming to Haiti, Daju, who is a French artist. He will be performing here on July 12th. And um, I just want to go to Glamour to get a bag real quick for my outfit. Because um, I picked it out the other day and I was looking through all my bags. I'm like, I don't have a bag that goes with this. And I didn't really want to change my outfit. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go to Glamour and see if I could find a bag real quick. But before we go to Glamour, we're going to go to Oave City. If you have a car in Haiti, it has to be registered with Oave City. So every July, I have to go back and um, get it renewed. And so this is my sixth time having to do it and um yeah we're gonna just go to the one in Pitonville. it should be very quick and easy we went there last year so i'm gonna take y'all along with us It was definitely less complicated. How was it more complicated than passé? Yeah. And it was the different cover that they had to control. Yeah, but that's just that. The one in Taba is so organized. There are like several different lanes. You go to exactly what you need. They do everything for you, and then it's done. It's that. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? My kids. Oh, okay. So right now the hood is lifted because they have to check the car. So when you do this, they usually inspect it, but it's not like a thorough inspection, y'all. They doing something very quick and easy because if they inspected all these cars in Haiti, they would not pass no inspection. I'm telling you right now, all the camionettes are like from 1998. Glamour, that was a fail. I did not find a bag, but I did get this cute little um, keychain thing. <laughs> it's so cute. I love elephants. It was 18 US dollars. Um, I know y'all probably like, what? <laughs> Thank you. 
so right now I'm in my husband's workspace. Um, it's his home studio, which is obviously in our house. And I have four voiceovers to record for work. So I'm like, let me just come down here and interrupt him real quick. It isn't gonna take long. I have the scripts right here. They're very, very short. But yeah, anyways, uh, about to get started. I just rewatched the English versions of the videos because I want the Haitian curl ones to have like the same pace, same tone, and for everything to kind of like fall into place. And so, yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm about to record. Y'all, this mic is reminding me of Usher's Tiny Desk performance because he had a mic just like this. Because at first I was looking for the mic because he had on a like black jacket or shirt or something like that. And I was like, where's the mic? And then I saw it. I was like, oh, that's the same type of mic that Sammy has. So let me do the vitamin A one. Um, let's see. Okay, I drink tea, but I should have drank some more, like right before starting this, because my voice is. Parce que vidéo anglais, il pa um, il pa pas les wo. Il pa les like vraiment bas et vraiment doucement, vraiment calme. Donc c'est comme ça ma PC fait pour créole là. Yeah, Sammy is setting up the mic or doing something. Is it good? Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Ready? Okay. I'm trying not to clear my throat because Sammy said, don't clear my throat. It makes my voice even worse. So, okay. You're breathing loud. Okay. 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 vitamin A, nettoyer mes avant. Pour qu'on empêche si mon a tout fait, vérifiez si si mon a calme. Si si mon a pas calme, pas force si mon a pour le prendre vitamine A. Yeah, some dogs are barking, so I was waiting for them to to stop. Est-ce que chien a pas? Il va pas entendre. So this barking is not gonna pick up on this mic. Nope. So why you tell me to keep going? C'est ok, en face de lui, ça fait un peu de bruit pour ça, on va rentrer. Parce que les gars ont pas ni. Okay, so I don't need to even stop for the barking. If I could keep going. Okay, perfect. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Si mon n'a pas de gagner, pipi si passe six mois, ou bien cinq ans ou plus. Deuxièmement, mon départ en si mon n'a, si si mon n'a te recevoir vitamine A pendant dernier mois qui saute passe à. Si ou te recevoir, li pa qualifié. Yeah, I just finished recording all four. Now we are just transferring the vocals to the laptop. So we can listen. Sans pas moyen de mon an, que c'est cap si là jusqu'à ce point. Si mon an pas de gagner PPC par ce six mois, ou bien cinq ans ou plus. Les pistes mots qualifiés. Troisièmement, les parents de mon an. Alors, est-ce qu'on peut corriger la loi? That's a wrap. We just listened to them. I have to spend some time um, tomorrow morning because it's very late. What time is it on? 9.26. 9.26 p.m. Um, tomorrow morning, I'm going to sort through uh, the vocals and kind of see what sounds good um, and what is the most consistent within all four. And then um, I'm going to send them off for review. Um, so, yeah, anyways, um, we're calling it a night. are lined up for gas. What time is it, babe? 11.31. People lined up for gas. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Oh, 
Before we got here, but um, they came back in or whatever, and then Woozy Wood Boy performed, the DJ was performing, Dodge was getting ready to go on the stage, and they threw the gas again. The Daju concert did not go as planned, um, which is actually so surprising because every single international artist that comes here um, always has a great concert. Everything goes smoothly. Uh, so this was the first time that I've seen this happen. Um, I've lived here for five years. So from the time that I've lived here, um, I've seen so many international artists come here and it's always been an amazing experience. The last concert I've been to with an international artist was actually the Burner Boy concert. And you already know he's such a great performer. So um, it was great to see him live. But yeah, anyways, I just did not expect last night to go like that. So before the concert, they released the breakdown of like the set times and everyone and the order that they'll be performing and things like that. So we ended up leaving the house around 11 p.m. because we don't live too far away from the venue. And so we left around 11 p.m because we were interested in seeing Woozy Wood Boy and Daju. After Daju, there um, would be two DJs playing back to back. And so that was a really good um, schedule because usually we leave concerts and anything with like a lot of people, we leave um, before it ends. And so if Daju was the very last person to leave the stage, we would have left before his set was over. And so since there were two DJs playing afterwards, we would be able to watch his entire set and then leave while the DJs were playing. So that was like a really great schedule. Uh, by the time we got there, El Rancho's parking lot was full. I mean, they have a large parking lot. So there were a lot of people there because the parking lot was full. People were parking like on the street um, by Royal Oasis, like on that entire road. And so to get to El Rancho, you have to actually walk down 
a road. So it wasn't even that road. We're parking on the main road near Royal Oasis, which is another hotel. So once we pull up, they're like these guys trying to get you like to park with them. Like they're gonna give you a parking spot basically. And then they'll watch your car, watch your car throughout the night. The reason I say this is because at the Brentwood concert, we paid someone to watch the car and the antenna was missing once we got back. So they weren't really watching anything. And so, um, yeah, I guess you can reuse antennas like by cutting it off of a car, you can go and put it on another car, I guess. We never got that antenna replaced. So to this day, we do not have an antenna. Depending on where we are, the radio doesn't work. Um, so <laughs> yeah, anyway, we're like, we don't wanna park on the street. There's a gas station across from Royal Oasis. So we went to the gas station instead and we paid the security guard 500 good, which is less than $5. I think right now, as of today, I think it's like around $4.34. Um, and so, yeah, so that's what we paid the security guard. It was better for us to do that because it's like in a secure spot. It's not on the street. People are not just like walking by your car, taking antennas and taking things from your car. So yeah, we had to just walk from the gas station to El Rancho. El Rancho is a really nice hotel, by the way. So um, as we're walking down the road, there are people walking up the road and we were just like, why are people leaving? And this one girl was like, go back home. You might as well just go back home because, you know, there was um, tear gas and all this stuff and the, um, you know, the concerts uh, stopped or whatever. So we're like, you know what, let's just go see for ourselves. If someone throws tear gas into the venue, they're going to probably just let it, you know, clear out and then have everybody go back in because it's an international artist that came all the way from France to perform. So we're just like, let's just go. So we went and then, um, you know, the DJ was playing again. They basically were starting everything back up. And so we got in the line, it was a long line. I guess people had you know, gotten out the venue, so it was a long line to get back in. Anyways, we got into the space and we stood in the back because if there were tear gas before, we don't know what may happen again. So we're just like, we don't wanna go into the crowd. Let's just stay back a little bit. So that's what we did. DJ Ted Bounce was on for about like 15 minutes by the time we got inside. And then it was time for a Woozy Wood Boy, um, which was awesome. He's a great entertainer. You know, he had such a good set. I was excited to see him. And um, yeah, so his set ended and everything was cool. And then DJ Ted Bounce came back on and was um, playing while Daju's team started like setting up. So they, I, you know, they were coming out to do certain things or whatever. They were setting up. We could tell it was Daju's team, and we're like, okay, cool. Daju's about to play. We're thinking everything's gonna be, you know, good. And then literally like 10 minutes later, another tear gas canister comes flying into the event space. And, um, you know, we just noticed everybody in the front, cause we're in the back, everybody in the front running, you know, towards us. And so, you know, in those type of situations, it's best to just go over to the side because you do not want to be caught in a stampede. So we just went over to the side, like on the wall as people were like running. And that way we could like kind of walk up the stairs um, while like on the side. So everybody just went out into the parking lot. We stood like on the very um, far end, just kind of watching everything because we weren't sure if they're going to shut it down or if they're going to do what they did after the you know, the first time and just have everybody go back in, you know? Um, but we're just kind of just looking around a little bit for about like 10, 15 minutes. And then um, my husband just went to the front just to see like what was going on. And he came back, he was like, nah, let's go because the police were telling people to go. And it was basically over. Like some people were just sitting there like, no, they didn't come to see such and such. They came to see Daju. They didn't see Daju yet. They're not leaving until um, he goes on. So I don't know how long those people stayed, but everybody else, you could see everybody just like leaving the um, the area. It has nothing to do with the artist, nothing to do with Daju. It has something to do with the event company hosting the concert and their competitors and they're trying to sabotage their event. So um, we didn't feel like we were in danger or anything like that. We literally just was like, it's over, let's go. We walked out you know, <laughs> up the hill to the uh, to the gas station, got our car and went back home. Now, I didn't go to sleep until like 3 a.m. because it doesn't matter what time it is, I have to do my full nighttime routine. I'm not just going, going to bed, um, you know, so I went to bed, I was like three or close to three and I'm up now, I'm about to work. And so, um, yeah, in my last vlog, I asked you all for some suggestions for some like coffee alternatives because I'm always sleepy at my desk. 
and um, I'm so tired of drinking coffee. I don't like it. I just drink it just to stay awake. There were quite a few people who suggested trying matcha and I've seen people like drink it in their vlogs and stuff and I've seen it online, but I never wanted to try it. Actually, I always see people say it doesn't taste too good and stuff. So I don't know. I just never had a desire to try it. But since people kept suggesting it, I'm like, I guess it works and let me go and try to find it. And so um, Sammy was actually at the grocery store. So I sent him pictures of matcha and I was like, just get anything that says matcha or send me a picture of anything that you see that says matcha and then I can decide if it's you know worth getting or not. Um, because obviously I didn't know what options we would have here. If it would be like just the powder by itself, if it would be a blend, I don't know. So I was just like, just send some pictures and I'll see. He said he searched all up and down the tea aisle he looked at everything and couldn't find it so i was like man okay fine and i posted on my instagram story i was like um you know i can't find matcha anywhere in puerto Plants, you know or whatever and someone replied and was like try um the cafe at kinam kinam is a hotel here and so um, I actually didn't get a chance to go there because I barely go out because I work from home. Um, and so by the time I went out again, I think I went to I think I went to the nail salon, but I didn't stop at Kinam, which is very close by. I could have stopped and checked, but it was time to go to the grocery store again. And this time I was there. And so I was like, you know what? Let me look in the TI. Let me do one last look because a lot of times when you um, ask your husband to find something, they'll say uh, they don't see it. And then when you go it's right there so i'm like you know what let me go look at the tea aisle on my own and see if i could find it and so there were two teas with matcha there was one that had like a passion fruit matcha blend which probably tastes good but like there was a really small amount of matcha in there it was like one of the last ingredients and i was just like okay you know what like i'm not gonna get that one then there was this other one that had turmeric matcha and chili and i know turmeric has like some health benefits so i'm like you know what let me just try that one even though it's not matcha on its own um let me just get it and try it and then you know uh, at a later time i'll go to the kinam to see if i could find matcha there if there's like like just pure matcha this is the one um right here if you can see it it has like all of the ingredients on there and like their benefits and the matcha one says traditional green tea commonly known to help energize the body i'm about to um go and try it right now because i have so much work to do and um i am so tired and i just want to get through the day so i'm going to see if it works hopefully but you know i'm still going to go to the kinam to see if i could find matcha on its own without like you know being mixed in with other ingredients um but i feel like this seems like a healthy tea anyways like even if it doesn't necessarily work for that because it has like turmeric and stuff i feel like it would be you know a good tea to drink So I'm about to try the tea. I'm also having breakfast. I'm having avocado toast with some pickles on top. Yeah, I have to try it. It's just avocado toast the way you would usually make it. And add some pickles. It tastes so good. I don't know what made me think to try that, but ever since I did, this is the way that I've been eating it. I'm also having some fruit, some um, watermelon, and some pineapple, and then trying this tea. Actually, let me try the tea first before I eat. Or should I try afters? This is what the tea looks like. And um, I've tried green tea before to help me with my energy. Any tea that has like a high caffeine level, you know how they'll have like the, the, the little thing that has the pictures and it'll say like the level of caffeine that's in there. So I'll try um, any tea with like a lot of caffeine and none of it ever works. But yeah, obviously this is also green tea, but I've just never tried matcha before. So um, yeah, so anyways, uh, I mean, it doesn't taste bad, which is why I feel like it's not gonna work because every time I see people drink matcha online, they always say it tastes bad. So this just tastes like regular tea. All right, y'all, so I am back in my office. I'm about to get started on work. I actually need to finish the tea. <laughs> I have so much to do before the first meeting, um, but yeah, I hope to see you in another video. Bye.